<laughs> all right, all right, uh, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekak All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. We want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushed his word and truth and sincerity. You know, this is uh, another Saturday. You know, we're down here in downtown Miami. You know, we the brothers from GMS Miami Camp. I'm your brother Zakaria. Brother Kum. Brother Rawai Shapar. Brother Rawai. You know, um, you know, and our lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shah is going to be on Jacob's trouble, man. How the Lord is going to use Esau, all right, which is the so-called white man, to come down having great wrath upon the children of Israel, man. All right, the wicked of, of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. All right, so we're just going to roll through the spirit low when it's edifying to the left. You got it, brother. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 4. And these are the words that the Lord spake, on, spake concerning Israel, concerning Judah. Yeah, so these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and Judah, all right? Because the kingdom was split into two, all right, after King Solomon, all right? Jeroboam, he took the northern kingdom, which are you so-called Latinos and Native American, and Rehoboam, he took the southern kingdom. All right, so the kingdom was split, but uh, now the Lord is gathering the elect. All right, but this is talking to uh, Israel right now, man. All right, the, the nation. All right, you got it, brother. Numbers 5. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with a child? Yep. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Yeah, so it's true to say, we heard a, uh, a voice of trembling, not of peace. I should say destruction coming, they shall see peace and there shall be none, man. And a man gonna be like a woman having and uh, having about to have birth, all right, having birth pains. That's how the Lord's gonna make these men out here, man. You can speak on the way. I'll continue. I see every man with his hands on his loins, and as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned to paleness. Yeah, so a man gonna be like a woman in, in uh having birth pains, man, screaming and hollering. I, the scripture say that the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right, that's the time we come into, man. And that's why it's time to seek, seek the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shah, man. That's the only thing going to keep us uh, covered in these times, man. We can cross over, brothers. That's right, you know, because, uh, you know, these times that we're coming into, all right, you're going to see even, like, the brothers going into mighty men, all right, men that have been trained, all right, in the military forces, all right, men uh, who are in the high military levels and positions. All right, these men are going to be looking like as women right now because these are the times that, uh, you know, especially Jake, mostly, you know, that we never see before. So that's why it always comes back to, you know, repenting, come back to the Lord so we could be able to avoid the times that we might have come into. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, this is the point. You no, know, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah. Okay, gone. So, hey, so this is the time like never before, all right? And this prophecy has not been fulfilled yet. Are right, we being introduced into those times because, you know, we see the times and the signs that we're coming into, all right? The beginning of sorrows. And, uh, you know, the scripture said that time right never before. And we're about to usher, you know, we're about to come in those times right now. Uh, but it says Jacob shall be saved out of it, which is going to be the elect only, all right? The elect nation of Israel. All right, the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans that repented and came back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because we're gonna need divine intervention to be able to escape the times that we're about to come into. That's right. Um, if I could add on real quick as well, because <clears throat> it says a time like never before, I was dwelling upon that probably like Thursday, and what came to my mind is, hey, you know, our, our elders and apostles been been on this earth for a long time. Our grandparents been on this earth for a long time. You know, our parents as well. You know, some brothers been on this earth longer than us. And this is something that everybody, you know, everybody's going to experience for the first time. Yep. And it says it's a time like never before. So this is this is about to be like, if you really think about the severity of it, this is going to be something that nobody has ever experienced in their life. You know, and that's that's really going to cause like, like people are going to be scared. Yeah. Because it. it you know, we could we could phantom about it, but you know, we really don't know what's gonna happen. Right. It's a time like never before. Yeah, it's gonna get bad out here, man. Our temptation, you're not gonna be able to buy or sell unless you got that seed here. Yep. And your faith gonna be tempted, but you gotta trust in the Lord. It's a time like never before. What happened? We went into slavery, mm -hmm. all right, cargo slave ships. Right. I uh when Esau came on the northern kingdom over here, they slaughtered him. That was a great time. That was mm -hmm. a great time, but this time gonna be worse than that, man. Yeah. All right. You gotta add another priest up. Kind of, this uh Second, uh, second Ezra, 
Uh, chapter 15. I'll start at verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. God, you can read up a little bit. Uh, verse 15. Woe to the world. Yeah. Oh, verse 14. Uh, Second Edges chapter uh, 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, so death and destruction unto the world and them that dwell therein, man. These people, you know, they think everything cool. All right, they eating that lunch, you know, they out here, you know, partying and bullshit. But hey, the strip said, woe to the world, not just here in Miami, all over the earth, man. You got it, brother. For the sword, verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Yeah, so it's going to be all out war out here, man. All right, they got the modern day sword is the guns, man. All right, and then what the, down here in Florida, they say you can't get a gun without a permit. Yep. So there's going to be a lot of violence out here. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, come on, you know, and, um, especially, you know, because really what Esau is doing, you know, he's setting up the stage for he could introduce his digital currency, yep. all right? It's going to be a time where uh, Jake is going to bug the head out because there's going to be a lot of economic work that's going to be happening on our people, all right? There's not going to be no food on the shelves. There's not going to be any any water to drink, all right? Uh, people's houses are going to be ravished, all right? So really, it's going to be all out war, all right? Anarchy, chaos is going to happen in the streets of Babylon. Right. He right. said Esau setting the conditions up so our people can rebel, so he can come down. Um, but it's all to me the Lord. Yeah, yeah, I was going to add, you know, a scenario like if you really sit there and you think about it, it's about to be like the wild, wild west. Yeah. Because hey, yeah. everybody's going to be able to have guns, you know, it's going to be to a point, hey, that's all you're going to see on the news, kill him. And in the wild, wild west, they didn't, they didn't listen to the laws. Those people did not care. And that's going to be, hey, it's going to be the same condition here, but hey, these people are gonna be ten times worse because this is that wicked generation that the scriptures speak about. You mean like the purge? Yeah, more. God, I got uh, yeah, two more pieces. Well, there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yep. So, they, so they're not gonna regard their kings and their princes. They are their kings and princes. Their mayors, their governors, yep. are their presidents. All right, vice president. They're not gonna regard those people, man. Yep. All right. They gonna have their guns and they gonna say what? Say this is what it is, you know? Be yeah, it says, uh, "Kill to be killed." Yeah. Uh, verse seventeen: A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, you know, you because what, what, what we're gonna see is uh, you know, Esau is gonna be setting up his uh, his FEMA camps. All right, the C hip is gonna be introduced at one point or another. All right, and ultimately you're gonna not be able to go to one city uh, and be able to trade. All right, move. Because really, that's really what's gonna go into, you know, in this time, you know, Jacob's trouble. Yeah. We're not gonna be able to do certain things. Yeah, it's gonna be like martial law. That's uh -huh. how they had, yeah, uh, like, curfews and stuff like that. This is what time is gonna be. The city's gonna be so bad, like, brothers going to, people not even gonna wanna go to different cities. All right, so it's gonna get bad out here. Yep. You know? Oh, I got one piece of here. Yeah, Huh? Oh, this is Tokov. Oh, I got a second, okay, I, I mean, I'm gonna bring that out. But I got a second extra 97, and okay. everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed mm -hmm. all right so it's only going to come down to the elect man that's going to be saved out of this thing all right the true men that the true men and women that repented came back to yahabash and now shy all right and stood their faith all right to, to the floor and really held ten toes down and really was able to you know escape these uh, evil times that we're about to go into mm -hmm. all right but you show your faith by your works yeah you get off on uh, 12 and 12. It's gonna get bad out here, man. That's why the Lord said, um, seek him before the evil day is drawn nigh. You know, but now shall I say I have no pleasure in him. You know, perilous times. All right, what second Timothy three, uh, two and three, three and one, I believe. You, you can get that. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Oh, now we know old means destruction. Hey, man, the devil that speaks about is speaking on Esau. You know, Esau's about to come down with a great wrath. You know, when you sit there and you really think about it, you got to understand, hey, this man has his kingdom, you know, and he doesn't want to lose his kingdom. You know, so he's going to try to pull out anything that he can to save his kingdom. It's like, for example, you have a cookie and you, 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 you fist the cookie in your hand. What's going to happen? Crumbs. And that's what's happening to Esau's kingdom. It's crumbling. So he's going to come whatever he can whether it be you know 
these these robot dogs, these robot officers, these new tanks, you know, all this technology, everything that, you know, the Lord had him be able to get well with or increase in, he's going to come down on Jake with that because he has a short time. It's that birth rate back. Oh, you think right. if he kill all Jake, he can get his birth rate back. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not going to happen, man. You know, that's not going to happen, you know. So that, uh, so Lord, within this lesson was edifying to the elect of, of the nation Israel. You know, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kach Kadash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.